Thank you very much, Mr. Ambassador. Dear friends, those are very big questions, of course, and I'll try to start uh, definitely, and then maybe we can go into some details um, as we as we discuss these issues. As you know, when the uh, collapse in oil prices, of course, has affected the Azerbaijani economy uh, because the budget uh, currently for the current year is um, planned on the assumption of the oil price being five dollars per barrel and now it's a little bit more than 40 dollars and also the volume of production uh, as Azerbaijan is part of this uh, oil producing countries uh, grew uh, the volume of production is going down so both prices down and both, uh, both price and volume are down and that of course uh, has been influencing the situation in the country uh, what helps is that in the first quarter of the year the oil prices were higher than uh, the planned uh, planned price in the budget, so it somehow compensates for the current problem. But especially during the first months of the second quarter, of course, the problem was really very bad. And um, but the situation is overall in control. And I think uh, the biggest uh, help for Azerbaijan is the, uh, this, this monetary cushion that we have been developing, which is close to fifty billion dollars. So that thing. Uh, that we accumulated during good days now is helping us a lot uh, during the bad days. But again, right now, if the situation is continuing the way it is, uh, we don't see much problem uh, in terms of the economic, macroeconomic stability in the country. As mentioned, Azerbaijan is part of the oil producing countries deal and uh, we have been compliant, 98% compliant in May and we have been 100% compliant in June and the cooperation is continuing, as you know, beyond the current year. When you look at the uh, amount of oil produced in the uh, between January and June, it has been down by one million tons, which equates a little bit to a little bit more than seven million barrels uh, due to the processes that I have mentioned. And of course, this, this is also influencing the amount of oil Azerbaijan has been exporting. So the, the amount of exported oil together with the condensate has been down by 900,000 uh, uh, tons again, which is around uh, a little bit less than uh, between six and seven million uh, barrels. But at the same time, uh, Azerbaijan has been producing more gas compared to the same period last year. So in the first six months uh, of this year compared to the last year, our uh, natural gas production went up by 11%. Uh, and this, of course, our main the countries we export our gas to is Georgia and Turkey. So far, we have exported about 1.3 billion cubic meters of gas to Georgia. So the, the, it's increasing. The amount is going up because of the beefed up production in Shapteniz, uh, in the Shapteniz 2 stage of the Shapteniz uh, gas and condensate field. And the same is valid for Turkey. So we uh, exported to Turkey uh, this year during the first half of this year, 24.5% uh, more gas compared to the uh, same period uh, last year. Uh, regarding uh, the Southern Gas Corridor, Kurt mentioned about that everything is on track and Azerbaijan is planning to, the consortium definitely is planning to sell its gas already by December. Um, uh, and COVID has somehow, of course, is there, but so far, thank God, it has not influenced uh, any process in terms of pipeline uh, project in any way that would delay uh, the entire process. So everything is on track uh, regarding uh, uh, other gas corridor and tap pipeline. Uh, Transcaspian natural gas pipeline, we always said that, and Mr. President also mentioned, so there's a country of origin, Turkmenistan, and there's a potential buyer perhaps European countries, Azerbaijan is in between. And uh, if there's an initiative, we are always ready to look into the issue and be part of this team uh, and cooperate along those lines. Uh, what has been happening in the renewable energy sector in Azerbaijan is also, I think, very important. And I would tell you that the Minister of Energy spends, I think it's, I would speculate, maybe one fourth of its energy on bureaucratic energy on renewable energy issues. Right now, uh, the amount uh, uh, that we have, of course, we have mainly wind and uh, solar in Azerbaijan. The potential is very big to combine. We have 
uh, potential for 29, uh, 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 26, uh, 27 megawatt, uh, 26,000 megawatt, uh, 3,000 for 15, 3,000 megawatt being wind power and 23,000 megawatt being solar. So far, we haven't realized much. Uh, so in terms of wind power, uh, we have uh, about 63 megawatt. In terms of solar power, we have about uh, 34 megawatt. And in terms of base energy, we have 37 megawatt uh, strong uh, power generation going on. Numbers are small compared to the potential we have, but still, uh, I think I should tell you that we are still the best in the focuses. Uh, of course, we'd like to compare ourselves to countries that are uh, far, uh, that, has, that has, have moved far forward, but still in the focus, we are doing very well. Uh, so far, not very well, but we are doing better definitely than others. And Azerbaijan, the president already declared that we, the plan is to bring up the percentage of renewable energy in the overall installed capacity uh, in Azerbaijan to 30%. Currently, it's 70%. Uh, most of it is, of course, is hydro. More than 1,000 megawatt of, of energy is coming from hydro. But as you know, right now, we are going to this um, uh, water shortage period. It is very, uh, really un uh, unprecedented almost. It creates its own uh, problems because we are a downstream country and other countries up there, including Armenia and Georgia and Turkey. So it kind of pushes us toward, towards more and more cooperation, especially with regard to Armenia. It creates its own problems, but still, uh, given that water, given water scarcity, there's more need to push forward regarding wind energy and solar energy. What we have done so far is that we already signed implementation agreement with Aqua Power of Saudi Arabia uh, for a, a solar power, for a wind power station um, uh, with the power of with the strength of 240 megawatts and with Mazdar, which is United Arab Emirates a country for 200 megawatts solar power. And things are going fingers crossed very well. And we expect uh, uh, the, the foundations to be laid already in a couple of months. And that will really make Azerbaijan, if everything goes well, and it has been going so far, thank God, if everything goes well, we will be really standing out among the, the wider neighborhood in terms of the amount of uh, both solar and wind uh, per se, and as part of the overall installed capacity. Uh, but of course, next step, we have done these first projects as pilot project. We did not have auction, uh, but really de facto it was an auction. We invited a lot of corporations, about 11 corporations were invited. And the biggest, of course, hurdle is that in Azerbaijan, being a welfare state, the price of electricity is very, very low. Uh, at the retail uh, level, we are talking about uh, four to five cents per kilowatt hour energy. And then the price, of course, is, is wind and, and solar are going down very fast, but still it's really difficult to compete with the uh, generosity of Azerbaijani government. And that's a problem. Then we have somehow have to subsidize because we are asking these corporations, we ask them to come up with a price and retail price in Azerbaijan for electricity is 3.4 cents. And we ask those corporations to match and to be below the retail price, subsidized retail price in Azerbaijan. That's why out of 11 corporations, only two remain at the end of the day. But the next step, we already prepared the uh, legislation, the law on uh, the renewable energy, and we submitted it to the government. The expectation is that it will be signed into law by the end of this year. And after that, that law also envisages uh, the uh, uh, auctions as the next way to go and this is the plan so we are next step uh, is to have auctions uh, and, and start that process because that law uh, passage of that law also involves the passage of certain bylaws which are about auctions uh, this is very important point because as you know renewable energy means that Azerbaijan can free up natural gas uh, to be consumed domestically or to be exported. Because this 440 megawatt combined um, power generation that we are planning to have uh, will result in the saving of about 300 to 350 million cubic meters of natural gas per year. Uh, so one megawatt of uh, installed capacity is about, uh, uh, is giving us about 0 0.7 million cubic meters of gas per year. And again, that will be That's significant. Uh, quite, quite, quite significant. 
uh, number uh, and that's also something that really excites us.